maternal parity, breastfeeding history, maternal race and country of origin, and household income were found to be the strongest and most consistent determinants of certain PFAS concentrations in pregnant mothers. Smoking status, alcohol consumption, and pre-pregnancy BMI suggested that these factors are not important determinants of PFAS concentrations in pregnant mothers or neonates. Further study into informative factors such as consumer product use, detailed dietary information, and consumed water sources as potential determinants of maternal or neonatal PFAS concentrations is needed. Research on determinants of maternal or neonatal PFAS concentrations is critical to estimate past PFAS exposure, build improved exposure models, and further our understanding on dose-response relationships which can influence epidemiological studies and risk assessment evaluations. Given the potential for adverse outcomes in pregnant mothers and neonates exposed to PFAS, it is important to identify and understand determinants of maternal and neonatal PFAS concentrations to better implement public health interventions in these populations. This article was authored by Jordan McAdam and Erin M. Bell. We are article.tv, links in the description below.